Our next presenter is Jason Ward. Jason has worked on strategies for organized labor in the past, including here in Hawaii. He's a principal analyst for the Center for International Corporate Tax Accountability and Research, an organization formed by unions and civil society groups that believe workers and the community need more and better information about tax arrangements of multinational corporations. Jason, your organization specifically addresses tax avoidance, something that should be very important to everyone working in government here in Hawaii these days. How has that impacted the investment practices of private equity, particularly when pension fund money is involved? Well, I should just start by saying, I mean, tax is the basis for all of the public services that we as individuals and consumers rely upon. If people aren't paying their taxes, we can't pay for education, roads, parks, uh, you, na you name it. And so that's, uh, and private equity tends to um, have a very aggressive approach to, to minimizing all its costs. And as was said before, extracting as much profit in the short term as possible. So I I'll step back a little bit and say that, um, the pension funds in general should be uh, 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 providing a positive influence on investment because they are by their nature long-term investors and, and shouldn't be seeking to sort of minimize, uh, uh, sh shouldn't be seeking to maximize short-term profits, but should have a long-term view that sort of can build money and build capital over time. The private equity model tends to rip out assets and rip out profits, and one of the ways of doing that is 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 a lack of tax payments. Um, so uh, Delilah spoke previously about uh, private equity firms using uh, lots of debt. I'll, I'll give you one example uh, of of a private equity firm. Um, that has done that. I mean, they essentially took an operate a nursing home company. Uh, and uh, the pension funds that were invested in that private equity uh, fund um, were uh, the, the private firm was borrowing money at a 15% interest rate, which then eliminated all taxable profits. So here's a system that is based upon public funding to provide uh, care for elders in nursing homes. And the company that's providing it, a private equity firm, is ripping out money from that system by uh, and benefiting the share the sort of the pension funds that were partners in that private equity fund by charging um, incredibly high interest rates through debt uh, to strip out operating profits. And so that's a very typical uh, function of a private equity model. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit south from you uh, in Maui and I'm here in Australia. Um, I did, uh, as was mentioned, work for Local 5 for about five years. Um, and we dealt with a private equity firm uh, on Oahu that uh, Oak Tree Capital, a major private equity firm. Uh, and it refused to bargain with the union over wages and conditions. And basically, uh, I mean, we partnered obviously uh, we've, we fought against that private equity firm as it was trying to strip out uh, profits from the operating, but it's the main fight and we've uh, allied with the community and with a group called Keep the Country Country. Um, and they wanted to completely develop uh, high end condos and destroy o Oahu's North Shore uh, with, you know, just uh, unnecessary and overly over over development. Um, and we, we engaged in a battle with uh, Oak Tree Capital and one of the larger private equity firms to, to stop that development. And uh, that was a very successful campaign. Yeah, it was a, it was a good one. And we, we won in the end. I won't, I won't uh, bore you with the details of how what we did to them and, and uh, the way we poked them around. But it did involve communicating with the pension fund owners who were invested in the funds. Uh, and it did involve uh, making them spend a lot of money in Texas fighting our freedom of information <laughs> requests. Um, so I, I just, I'll, 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 I, um, the, there's been a big shift in, in pension funds uh, around tax issues. Uh, the first time I started looking at tax issues with pension funds, we approached uh, CalPERS, uh, one of the largest in the U.S., uh, around a, a, a tax issue, and they basically wait, told us. Wait a second, CalPERS—that is the California State Employees Retirement Fund, is right. that right? 
the California Public Employees Retirement System, and it's the largest uh, pension for public pension fund in the United States, and and you know one of the, one of the top ones around the world. Um, they basically told us where we presented to them the fact that their investment on property in the city of Houston was uh, not paying the property income tax that it should be. Uh, and at that point, this was many many years ago. Now they told us to basically, you know. Uh, F off, we're not interested. That manager is doing what they should be by maximizing our returns. And now that pension fund has come around and understands um, that actually paying property tax supports the systems. And I'll, I'll give you another example uh, of a campaign that I've run uh, since being uh, in Australia, but uh, in California, where the San Diego County's employee retirement system was a, a, a partner in a fund, a property fund managed by uh, J.P. Morgan Chase. Um, and it owned uh, a shopping center in San Diego County that was the largest commercial property in San Diego County. And it was paying half of the property tax that it should be. Uh, and so here you have a, a situation where the San Diego County employees who depend upon that tax revenue for their current livelihood are having their deferred wages and their retirement benefits used to undermine their current livelihood. Uh, that makes no sense whatsoever from the grand scheme of things and really needs to be addressed. Uh, one of the things that we did as, as SICTAR last year was um, we were able to mobilize um, global investors holding $10 trillion in assets under management to support transparency around tax payments. And that includes making the companies that they invest in report tax payments on a country by country basis in a public, in a public way. So I think that there are some positive shifts. There are some momentum that's moving in the right direction in terms of holding um, pension funds and their private equity managers accountable for, uh, you know, being responsible in terms of tax issues and, and funding the public services that we need. Um, so there is there is progress there, and uh, I mean I think we can we can move to to shape private equity in, in ways and and pension fund investments more broadly in ways that actually do benefit uh, society and and produce the same returns over a longer period as well. Thanks for sharing the real world on the ground uh, implications of the sort of very ethereal uh, sort of conceptualizing things we're talking about here and how it can affect people and organizations and municipalities on the ground. 